you know, minerals and crystals you more likely have. And then there are a few crystals that will um, trigger diamond or get really, really close, like up there in the eight, such as phenakite, which we have pretty prevalently in Colorado. That's pretty special. And then corundum, sapphire, and ruby should also be up here somewhere. They wouldn't detect diamond, but they should be definitely up in the eight scale. So we will use that as well. Now, let's get going. Hopefully you can see the power just went out. Um, I'm not sure where to start. I guess I like to, I love using hydrogen peroxide, honestly, to watch it fizz, to see if it's biogenic, if we have sulfides, but let's start with some of the more routine stuff, okay? So, we are going to do some hardness testing. Well, first, let's make sure they're crystals, right? Whoops. That's not ideal, right? Obviously, you can tell there's crystals, but let's use this detector. And this is a preview. It's the same technology as the Presidium Gemstone Indicator which we will do too, and I'm really excited about that. But what do we got here? We got, well, we'll see if we can turn this on somehow. Oh, I think you just go, oh, on, on perhaps. <laughs> okay, it's gonna have to, cal okay, here, you turn it on. Then you wanna calibrate it. So turn it down towards off until you just see the green, okay? Once you start seeing yellow and stuff, you've gone too high, you just want green. So the hot, the most amount of green um, boxes that you see is how you, um, what's the word for it? How you, oh God, the word's escaping me, but that's what you want to do. So right here. So you're going to use this setting when you do the tests. Looks like it's ready to go. So let's take this one and let's do right here on this crystal side, right? And you need to touch it with your hands, which means I do need to take this off. This is a huge part. It isn't talked about much. You have to have your hands on the back on this sensor when you do it, which is kind of interesting. But always when you're doing these thermal tests, with these devices do that. So I'll go like this. And as you can see, we are at, well here, put my hands on it again. Between five and six. Oh, all the way up to seven. So that makes sense. Jeez. All right, <laughs> my little, uh, DIY uh, tablet stand isn't working out so great. Now, let's make sure we are on the right. Calibration, that's the word I was looking for. Okay, too high. And there we go. Now, now we're going to do the back side of it. See, back here. Let's see if it's crystal or not. Wow. Definitely is, huh? Went into seven. So we know we have crystal in this sort of host rock section. We'll do this one. These are, all, oops, let's calibrate. There, both lights are on. My hand is on the sensor. Now, obviously, these are crystals, right? But let's see what it does. Okay. Went up to six. The line between six and seven. Makes sense. I do believe this is barite or gypsum. Sulfates do not have very high thermal conductivity. Okay, now we need to get recalibrated. And I'm just kind of doing this as an example, right? Just to show you. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's do the back side right here and see what we got. 
Okay, it is in the six range. It's not very strong, but okay. Now, now that looks like it's in the five range. So that's much lower. We will look at the reference chart here in a second. Here we go. Oh, wait, I didn't calibrate it. See? Oof. Okay. Calibrated. Hand on the sensor. Oh, well, that one went up pretty high. Look, it's all the way up to eight almost, which means that has a higher thermal conductivity or thermal inertia, which indicates certain types of stones. I wish you were going to learn. And I have a rock star table for this that took me years to find and put together. So if you click the subscribe button, you'll be able to have it. You have access to everything I have in my library. Okay, six. Okay, calibrated. And let's do the back side, see what we get. Okay. So this one is pretty, pretty much the same. All right, now let's take this gigantic septarian <laughs> concretion nodule. All right. See, looks like we're calibrated. Let's take this crystal right in the middle. Interestingly, that went jumped up. See, pretty high. Pretty high, actually. Okay, all right. You see the yellow light, which means we have to calibrate. All right. Let's do the matrix. Pretty high. We will put hydrogen peroxide on this because you see how it almost goes up to eight, the highest number. Um, that would indicate now sulfides have a very high thermal conductivity. And remember, hydrogen peroxide can help you detect sulfides. So we will use it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty, that crystal. Let's check her out. Oops. Mm, that went high too. So. I'll actually use these same ones for my um, Presidium, my Presidium video coming soon. And they're about $300, the Presidiums. They're pretty cool though. That one's lower, but still a crystal. Okay. So I think you're getting the idea. Um, jumped up a little bit, okay. All right, let's see. Anything, anything, anything that might not be crystal. Um, oh, and this is fun. Let's try this. Let's take some known. So I use these for hardness testing. Let's take some known minerals and see what it does. So this is calcite, which goes up very high, surprisingly. Okay. It's typically more in the middle. But again, this is, you know, I'm taking some liberties with this it's this really is only to detect jade crystal and diamonds but i'm trying to get across the point that it's a scale which is going to come in really handy when we get to the presidium okay what does moonstone do huh? not much i mean it detects the crystal but what about appetite okay and so then you can use it relatively. So if you're like, hmm, I think this is apatite, it's fluorapatite, or this might be calcite, then you'll, you can see with your, um, your reference rocks, which are hugely important, you can see what happens with them and then kind of compare it to what happens on your specimen. This is a different piece of calcite. Now this one, I bought these and they're coated, so can't really trust that the point being be careful what you order online you might want to go to a rock shop now this is a little piece that fell off one of these specimens okay all right so you get the idea of the diamond selector and 
you will know if you get up into six, seven, eight, you do have crystalline or crystalline crystal crystals. <laughs> you have crystals, okay. <laughs> if you're in the five zone, that's jade. Four and five, really. And then down here, you don't have crystals. In fact, glass will be way down here. All right. Hope you found that. Whoops. <laughs> Hope you found that useful. And I will see you on the next segment.